Welcome to day 11 of 20 days of 20 sun salutations. I'm back in Adelaide in South Australia and where I am at the moment is actually the gun emplacement which is part of the reserve that is known as Anstey's Hill Recreation Park and this is the geological hike. I stumbled on this place years ago and it's so beautiful to walk through. It's usually quite quiet and peaceful as well and as you can see the the nature, the serenity, it's absolutely stunning. It's a really big blowfly. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> so if you are looking for a beautiful hiking spot around Adelaide in South Australia, gun emplacement, geological hike, Anstey's Hill Recreation Park, worthwhile having a look all of these trails that you can follow all the way around going that direction, going around and you can actually walk all up along there and it's a beautiful spot. We love taking our dogs. We keep them on lead of course but it's such a beautiful spot to be able to just come out in nature and Today, it's going to be a coming out in nature and enjoying our 20 yoga sun salutations. We've gone through quite a few of the poses now and we did baby cobra on the last one that we were focusing on a pose. We're going to do a little bit more of that upward facing dog and remember that you have the option of baby cobra. So if upward facing dog isn't for you, that's okay. Just keep taking baby cobra and we'll work through those 20 together. So coming to the front of your mat and I'm going to put my sunnies on because it's just a little bit of light coming through there. All right, coming to the front of your mat, set yourself up into dust in a nice, strong grounding pose, spread your toes out, feel the ground beneath you, roll the shoulders back and down, reset your posture, taking a breath in, breathing in, all the way out, folding forward, inhale, high. exhale, stepping back, we're going to start with baby cobra, dropping down to the knees for our chaturanga, Lowering all the way down for the low plank and then inhale into baby cobra. Lift your hands just to check yourself. Make sure you're using the right muscles. Flip the toes underneath, pushing back as you exhale into a downward facing dog. And then walking to the front of the mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Stepping back onto those knees, lowering down baby cobra. Inhale and then exhale, pushing back into downward facing dog. And then walking to the front of your mat for an inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up, exhale, arms come down. Inhale all the way up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale. Stepping all the way back, knees or toes. If you want to join me on your toes, we're going to do an upward facing dog now. So just coming forward slightly. So as you drop into that chaturanga, that low plank, you come forward slightly, bending to 90 degrees at the elbow. And then at this point, you're going to flip underneath, uncurl your toes, and then you're lifting up into upward facing dog. You want to really drop your shoulder blades back and down and squeeze your glutes to protect your lower back. You can look straight forward, you can look up slightly, but protect your neck and put it in a position that is comfortable for you. When you're doing this posture, you're gripping into the ground to protect your wrist, really stabilize, nice and strong through the spine. You don't want to just let your body go backwards. It's an active pose to protect yourself so all of those muscles are working. And as you flip your toes as well, it's important not to just roll over them because you can actually fracture your toes, which a lot of people don't realize. So very can be very dangerous. Protect your toes at all costs because if you fracture a foot, you're going to be out of yoga for a little bit, or at least this sort of flow anyway. So coming back, just to run through it again, shoulders back and down, nice and strong, squeeze your glutes together, and then lowering down, flipping the toes underneath, and then you're pushing yourself, really squeeze the glutes, looking up, and then exhale, back into downward facing dog, inhale, walking to the front of your mat, exhale, forward fold, inhale all the way up, exhale, arms down. Now, that's only three at that point, but upward facing dog is definitely one where people can be prone for injury, so be really, really cautious of your technique. Um, you can go through at a quicker pace, but I will st still try to talk you through bits and pieces as long as I don't lose track of our numbers as we're going. So for the next couple of those, we'll make sure that we're talking through the technique and then it'll start to go a bit faster, okay? So inhale all the way up, exhale, folding forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, stepping backwards. Take your knees or your toes. If you're doing the upward facing dog, you can step on those toes, lowering down, uncurl the toes, lifting up, inhale for upward facing dog, squeeze your glutes, shoulder blades back and down, exhale, pushing all the way back, downward facing dog, 
walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping backwards, knees or toes, lowering down. Exhale, um, inhale, sorry, for upward facing dog. Squeeze the glutes, drop the shoulder blades back and down. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of the mat there. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down. That's five. I'm gonna chuck away one of my little nature pieces that are helping me keep track. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping backwards, knees or toes. Lowering down, I'm taking baby cobra here. So remember, drop those shoulder blades back and down. Squeeze your glutes, same as with upward dog. Exhale, into downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of your mat. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. I'm taking baby cobra again, lowering down to the ground. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, coming all the way back and down. Inhale, front of the mat. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Dropping down chaturanga and then flipping forward to that upward facing dog. Squeeze the glutes together and then back into downward facing dog with an exhale. Walking to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping all the way back. Knees or toes grip the ground. Inhale, into upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing all the way back. Exhale, uh, inhale to the front of the mat. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping backwards. Knees or toes, lowering down. Inhale, exhale into downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. And then exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Oh, I've lost track already. Oh, is that? It could be five. It might be four. So I'm going to do one more with baby cobra and then we'll be at ten. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, lowering all the way down. Oh, and then stop doing that way too. Upward dog. <laughs> Coming down, downward facing dog. And then inhale. Exhale, arms come all the way up. I told myself I was going to do a baby cobra on that one and then I instinctively just went for upward facing dog. Sorry, that is hopefully 10. I'm blaming my brain being scattered on all the travel over the weekend, but I got to go to some beautiful places and it was amazing with family. So just taking your breath, resetting myself. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, folding forward, focusing on being present here on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping backwards, knees or toes, lowering yourself down. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing all the way back. Grip into the ground there. Exhale as you're stepping forward. Sorry, inhale, stepping forward. Exhale, fold, folding forward. <laughs> inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down. All right, inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking to the front of your mat for a halfway lift. In, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale, bring the arms down. That should be 12. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Inhale, and then exhale back into downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat here. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Arms all the way up, exhale down. 13, inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Upward facing dog or baby cobra. Exhale, pushing back into downward facing dog. 
walking to the front of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, arms come all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping backwards, knees or toes. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms come down. Oh man, I think we have one more. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> In up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Inhale, baby cobra for me. Exhale, pushing back into downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And coming all the way down. All right, 15, give or take. <laughs> Inhale, arms coming all the way up. Exhale, coming all the way down, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Take the position most comfortable for you. Stepping back and exhale for your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of your mat. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms down to your sides. Four left. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Walk, jump, full step, front of your mat. Inhale, uh, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms come down. Three left. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, uh, uh, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale, bring those arms down. Two left. Inhale. That's your 20 for today. Exhale, Please feel free to join me for the next two though. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, lowering down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk, jump or step, front of the mat. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms down. One left, let's finish strong. Inhale, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, knees or toes. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, walking to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a stretch here, open out my shoulders. Too much time in the car. Ooh. Rolling those shoulders back. Done. Good hustle. Day 11. We've made it through day 11. There's only nine days left to go. So hopefully over the next nine days, I'll be able to take you to some other beautiful places around Adelaide and you'll get to see a little bit of what Adelaide has to offer. If you're not already from Adelaide or if you are from Adelaide, it might inspire you to go and check out some of these beautiful places and especially being autumn, we're coming into hopefully some beautiful colors. So I'm looking forward to those. So great job today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching along and I will see you tomorrow for day 12. That was a struggle. My brain died there. Too much time, I think, in the car, hunched over, sleeping in different beds. And I'm due for my period, so my brain function feels like it's... <sighs> Woo! We've got it, we've got energy, we're good.